Hello ladies and welcome back to Thankful Thriftiness. Growing up, I read the Little House on the Prairie series and other similar historical novels over and over and over again. And I have to say it's pretty heavily influenced the way I want to live my life now. And what I always found interesting was how much the Ingalls family seemed to enjoy the work that they were doing. Granted, there were definitely seasons and certain tasks that were not their favorite, but don't we all have those? But it didn't seem like cleaning was such a huge burden to them. It was just a part of everyday life that was part of their routine. It was worked in in a very seamless way. When I got married for the first two months, I didn't have a job and we lived in the tiniest apartment <laughs> imaginable. It was really easy for me to take an hour and a half twice a week and completely clean the entire apartment from top to bottom, bathrooms, floors, kitchen, everything. Then I got a job and last year we also moved into this house, which although it's still a somewhat small house, I guess, it's much bigger than the apartment and there are a lot more facets to what needs to be kept cleanly and tidy throughout the week. I started to notice that cleaning became what felt like a huge task that I was constantly behind in. I felt like my house was constantly messy and it just really was annoying. It started to become a stressful pattern for me. I very quickly realized I needed a solid cleaning routine. Something that I didn't have to think about, that I was just used to doing, and hopefully the chores wouldn't be necessarily as mundane but satisfactory and could keep my house in a perpetually at least somewhat tidy order. Emphasis on the somewhat. When I decided I needed this routine my mind immediately went back to the Little House on the Prairie series and other similar books where every family had a set routine in place. They would wash the clothes on Monday, iron on Tuesday, churn on Wednesday, I can't remember exactly <laughs> what all it was, but each day of the week had a specific task and then Sunday was a day of rest. Obviously, the tasks that we do nowadays look a little bit different than the ones being done back then, but I still used those older examples to help inspire me for what I now use as my weekly and monthly cleaning schedule. On Mondays, I sweep my entire house. I will say this task used to be much more quickly done. Nowadays it takes me, I don't know, maybe around 30 to 45 minutes to sweep the whole house where I felt like it used to be 20, but I'm just a little bit slower these days and that's okay. Something about having clean floors is so satisfactory to me. And yes, I let Rosie stay in just for the sake of the video because normally she is outside when I'm sweeping because sweet as she is, she likes to chase the broom. She thinks it's a toy I'm trying to play with her. On Tuesdays, I clean the bathrooms. Out of all the tasks of the week, I feel like this one is the one that makes me feel the most accomplished, makes my house feel the most tidy and put together and orderly. I wipe down the mirrors, sinks, toilets, change out the towels, and ever since I've been pregnant, my sweet husband has cleaned out the toilet bowls for me because we have really hard water, so we have to use some harsher chemicals that I'd rather just not be touching right now. So I am so happy to pass that particular chore off. I have seen some people who will wipe down their toilets with rags. Am I the only one? But I cannot bring myself to wipe down a toilet with a rag. I have to use paper towel. I try to use rags for everything else, but it just grosses me out to no end, even if I wash those rags. But maybe that's just me, I don't know. Wednesday's task is to sweep the front porch. And yes, if you're wondering, I absolutely am wearing a face mask in this video. I had just jumped out of the shower and let's just say, <sighs> pregnancy hasn't been very kind to my skin, <laughs> so, Yes, I was wearing it while I was filming this video. It's so nice and just comforting to have a clean entrance to the house, and my husband hangs out there a lot, so it gives me peace of mind that he's sitting in a nice cleanly area, and it's just overall more peaceful. On Wednesdays, I also do research on where the best deals are that week, and I make up my grocery list and plan out the meals for the week ahead. 
On Thursdays, I shop and generally like to cook a nice dinner, at least one that's a little bit more time consuming because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I actually am off of work. So it seems like the best time to get those tasks done. Where I shop varies week to week, just depending upon the sales and what's going on or what I actually need. I know that certain things I can find at Walmart for cheaper and also Walmart's closer. Certain things I can find at Kroger for less expensive. Um, I don't know, it just kind of depends. There's a video linked in the description box on how I accomplish the weekly meal planning and deal hunting and how we save a decent amount on groceries every month. On Friday, I dust our entire house and if there's any ironing to be done, I take care of it then. I do really try to avoid buying clothes that require ironing just because it's such a hassle and I would love to be able to just take it out of the wash and wear it if I need to. But there are just a few items that I do enjoy wearing on a regular basis that do need some ironing. On Saturdays, I scrub the toilets again and I thoroughly clean my kitchen. Now I have to say I've been doing better about deep cleaning my kitchen as I go throughout the week and am cooking in it. So it's been less of a task lately, but I still do enjoy just getting a little bit of extra scrubbing done on the stove, cleaning off the window, wiping down cabinets that need it, and really anything else that needs to be done that just isn't quite right. So that is my routine for the various cleaning tasks that I accomplish throughout the week. Now, every day, regardless of what day it is, except for Sundays, I do try to check and see if there needs to be a load of laundry done. And generally, I do a load of laundry about every three days. Okay, moms, I know, like, chill. I know that once I have a kid, it's gonna be a lot different, but right now, it's very nice. I also make sure to clean up the kitchen after each time I cook and do the dishes at the end of the day and any other tidying that needs to be done. I do try to make sure my house is at least tidy before I go to bed at night because honestly, I sleep better. <laughs> on top of that, I also have a few bigger tasks that need to be done on a monthly basis. So I'll generally accomplish those either on a Thursday or a Saturday. The first week of the month is dedicated to monthly finances and cleaning out the fridge. Kind of like a budget and grocery reset making sure that there's nothing expired in the fridge, then going through and seeing what we spent the month before, discussing finances, all that good stuff that I highly recommend you do every month. The second week of the month, I am supposed to mop the whole house and do the baseboards. It is much less frequent these days because even sweeping is painful on my back and lugging that water around <laughs> to mop, I just can't do that that often, but I really am due for another mopping soon, so I should probably do it. The third week of the month, I clean the windows and my husband scrubs out our water filter, which I'm so thankful for him doing because it can be really heavy if there's any water in it. And yeah, I'm just so thankful that he's taken that task over. On the fourth week of the month, I sweep the basement and remove cobwebs from all around the house, just double checking if there's any in the basement cobwebs just rub me the wrong way. It's one of those things where it makes me feel like I live in a gross environment if there's any cobwebs anywhere. And again, my sweet husband took over the sweeping of the basement because sweeping has not been fun and it can be really gross sweeping out the basement and there can often be a lot of dust that you end up breathing in. So for now, he's taking care of that. But once the baby comes and once I'm more back into my normal routine, I will definitely be taking that back over again. Those are my daily, weekly, and monthly cleaning routines. Please let me know in the comments below, what are your tips for stressless cleaning? And yeah, what routines have you implemented that were otherwise stressful to you, but now are a lot easier just because you have that routine in place? This is by no means a foolproof system. This obviously doesn't take into account deep decluttering. I just try to, do a deep declutter slash purge slash deep clean of rooms every now and again. I probably should get on a solid schedule, but it's been a little bit difficult since I've been pregnant and I am finishing up work. So I will update you guys if that ends up changing, but be encouraged. Look at your home and look at the tasks that you know you need to accomplish in order for it to remain in a somewhat tidy state 
throughout the week. And then break it up into days, break it up into the weeks, and work on building it into your routine. I hope this video helps you either establish or get back into a cleaning routine, and I promise you the results are worth it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And as it is Tuesday, pardon me, but I must go clean my bathrooms. Bye.